What's up guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Now we all know how strong the new Blade Dance is, but did you ever get greedy or, or wonder, okay, what if I had Feel No Pain, Talk to the Hand, and the Ninja Relics? Well, it turns out we're just very lucky. That happened in this run. I guess sort of a spoiler alert, but it also entices you guys. Coming in with the post edit, I had set silent instead of ironclad. This is a prismatic ironclad run. I've been enjoying them lately. I hope you guys enjoy them as well. Drop a like if you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Common relic. Wait, I can I can go to the exordium? Excuse me? Okay. This is the real fun. This is where the fun really is. This ironclad. Remember the days where we used to add seeds from Prismatic? Back then it was a lot more rewarding, I suppose, right? Whenever I add Gremlin Horn, I feel like every run, I have, like, it takes me a second to process the fact that I don't have Gremlin Horn again. It took me a second to realize I didn't have it again. I just think Panacea is just so much potential. So is for, so does Forward Influence. It says of any color. Of any color. That's pretty good for the early game. But Panacea is just a monster card. But this is pretty good for the early game. Which we're, we're currently in. As it turns out, we are currently in the early game. Damn. That was unfortunate. Should we take a speculative like water? Perhaps? Probably not, right? Oh my god, look at that. Look at that archaic hieroglyph. Hieroglyphics. Uh, these cards are kind of whatever. Let's try this. Let's try this speculative nonsense. Oh, oh my god, Barty Beats coming in hot and heavy with the Twitch Prime. My man is out here. Thank you, man. Ten months. What was our, what was the name of our baby? By chance. I love Quicksand. He's a great card draw. I would like a Bloodletting at this point. Bullseye is quite possibly. Um, this is probably the hardest fight for us. I think this, we struggle the most against this elite right here. Especially with Bullseye being the attack we RNG'd into. Doing my best to, to slay this beast, but this beast does not want to be slayed. The beast has been slayed. That was the hardest elite for us. Blade Dance. Now we're cooking with gas. Guys, can you please manifest? 
please manifest. I'm asking you once, maybe twice. Please manifest. This is a, so the reason why I did this is because this was a, a small, I, can, I did the math, and I realized this was a, still an easy pull fight. Still easy pull. So we can get a nice card in an easy pull fight. And then go to the elite with extra health, maybe extra potion, and extra card. But can we manifest feel no pain, please? That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of stuff I want to see. Look at that. We get, we get a potion, we get a heal, and we get a card. Beautiful. And Crescendo is absolutely nuts. It's some, somehow when I'm on the Iron Clad, I get Crescendo. Just like clockwork. Crescendo is absolutely nuts. Especially considering Blade Dance. Okay, let's see what we get first. Okay, dude. This is a casual 96 damage. At the starting turn, draw one card and discard a card. Like this is this, this run is going fantastic. These are great cards. These are great cards. Now we have discard energy potentially and RIP intense burner. But now that we have crescendo, everything is a little bit different. Who's the boss? Slime boss. So Sir Now that we have crescendo, uh, I mean everything is appealing to me. Everything under the sun. Ow. Believe it or not, I am not going to rest. This man's crazy. I get a crescendo draw one time for the one time, one time for the one time, one time for the one time. Boom! Beep, 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 beep. Boof. Everybody go home. The defect's so trash. Oh my god, the defect. I'm so sorry, my dude. I mean, this is just RNG difference, though. I mean, Prismatic Shark gave me a lot of crazy cards. Wow. Now let's try to get this like water to pop off somehow. Maybe we can get some uh Maybe we can get some calm block synergy here. Okay, Tiny House gives us a card. I want energy. I really wanted energy. I did. Ah, but the potions is the problem. What about Empty Cage? I actually really wanted energy here. I could take Burning Blood and just sustain my way through the Spire, suppose. We have sustain already with this as well. Perseverance. Super is going to be decent with the fact that I have Demon Form. The question is... It's Perseverance, but... Alright, so we're going to have to figure out energy. It's okay, we have a fairy in the bottle, so... Worst case scenario, we could take a few punches on the quest for getting solved. Let's go. Uh, so Marine would have been useful here. As it turns out. As it turns out, Sword Boomerang is useful here. But we got Centennial Puzzle, which is nice. Flying Sleeves. We have Crescendo as well. If I were to use Crescendo, it would be Suicide. Who wants Mayhem? I do. I 
it was also 14 block. Like, double block was also 14 block there. But the caveat was that I brought these guys down. The caveat. We're looking at 9 damage here. Coincidentally, that's exactly how much Perseverance is blocking for. Coincidentally. It'd be kind of cool if I did bash flying sleeves and this guy died, right? So can we do the math? 20 ends up being 10. Okay. And then 8 ends up being 8. So 10 plus 16 is not lethal. Hmm. annoying that is annoying my friend you would expect that yeah you would expect mayhem to be a little more kind to you to make up for it I'm gonna do this the deck has oh my god Talk, just give me all the watcher cards. Yes, I'll take talk to the hand. Talk about value for one energy. You gain a lot of block, especially with blade dance in the deck. And hey, what do we got here? I'll take it. I'll take the gold. Let's go visit the shop real quick. Okay, happy flower gives you some energy. Why not? Letter opener is pretty decent. I could take a happy flower removal. I'm happy. I got sunshine in a bag. Oh, feel, remember what I said about Final Pain? So Final Pain, Blade Dance. Now we have Touch in the Hand and Final Pain giving us block from Blade Dance. What other exhaust do we have? We have Crescendo Exhaust, Form Influence Exhaust, even Touch in the Hand Exhaust. So Final Pain makes some sense. There's also Spot Weakness. So, Spot Weakness and Strength Scaling. Well, that's the end of my stanzas. What about Exhum, however? Exhum could bring back Crescendo for a second chance at glory, even though we have no way to get out of ref stance at the moment. It also could bring back for an influence. It could also bring back a Shiv. Ooh, a Shiv. It could bring back Talk to the Hand. Now, no one ever talked about Exhum Talk to the Hand. That's an insane synergy. Exhum Talk to the Hand. Ah, there's so many options there. What if I just go full in... Crescendo and don't look back. I'm serious. Do we die? Or do we win before he kills us? Can I do 172 damage? Uh, this is going to do 24, 24 plus. Eighteen times four. Seventy-two. I do half his damage now. Ah, oh, no, I've been playing trick. You guys have seen me play strictly for the win. You guys have seen it. Oh, we got a shuriken. 
Oh, I like the way this is going. Started playing Slay the Spire last week and was struggling to beat the heart. YouTube has helped me a lot and I finally beat the heart. IQ balling. Your IQ was balling. Thank you, man. Thank you for watching and congratulations. Congratulations with your balling IQ. I'm about to smack the spire. I kind of want to do it, guys. It offs this bag of prep a little bit. I'm doing it. Ooh, talk about value. Now, I have a question, guys. And this question is for Chrissy. Two elites or potential pivot? So, one elite, potential pivot to safety, which holly fets are not that fun, versus... Ferrying the bottle in fueled uh, two elites. Let's see. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, yes. Who, me? Who, me? Oh, this is great. 34 damage. Now, if we were to do the math, we have 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 10 is 26. 26. We can forgo that. Block for 20, so we have 20, and then we can play other things. Okay. Now, took no damage, and now we have Crescendo. Now, where's the Battle Trance in the deck? It's safe to say the Demon Form is not getting played. I have lethal next turn. I've got lethal next turn. So the question is, how do I want to play this turn? Hey, the deck needs refining. It is on three energy. But I tell you that we're going to win this, and then we have lethal next turn. Now the problem is, is uh, this next elite. And then if I get past that elite, the game, I, if I can survive this next elite, the one, the, the, the run is one. Um, I wonder if I need Bash. Alright boys. Who is ready to go ham? Say no more. Should've done some damage to this guy. <laughs> Should've done some damage to this guy. It's okay. Hate that I lose fairy. But what could I say? What can I do? Trip is particularly good. Sheeping Beam is very good, but Dark Embrace. Oh, Dark Embrace Final Pain. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who wants to do Crescendo? Absolutely. 
Absolutely. freaking lootly Where's the free fight? The only thing I regret The only thing I regret is not getting happy flower a little bit sooner So let's, do, let's get a happy flower sooner Let's do that Acrobatics is card draw, however, I'm still struggling with energy a little bit. I think it'd be um calibers, we hopefully can get some calibers value later on. That's gonna be fun. Do you guys think that we too OP if the watcher had a rare relic like a life change stance every two turns? Maybe, yeah. I can argue that watcher doesn't need anything like that. Oh, this guy again. This guy's annoying. Anybody else annoyed by this guy? A pretty pitiful turn one. I low key want to do, uh, I low key want to do crescendo again. Oh, and boots with the cheer one sub, welcome back. Thank you, man. Let's go indeed. Three months. I low key want to do crescendo again. Let's do the math. I can block. It's scary though. Crescendo again is scary. War paint. Ah, oh, how much I get so good? I need energy. War paint. War paint hits, defends, and stuff. War paint's not worth it at all. Removing the writhe might be, de be decent though. I like pummel strike. I'll remove the writhe. Ah, before I remove the writhe, let's see. Ornamental fan. Oh no. No. Ornamental fan would have been so fun with Blade Dance. I didn't even check what the boss was, I was so focused on other shenanigans. I Abacus is pretty decent. Like we shuffle like small amount. Of, I think Abacus can get some value here. Is Abacus better than removing Rive? Probably not.
maybe upgrading trip could be beneficial. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, this might be a problem. Combust is definitely not good. Combust is definitely not good. Ah, what if we just go straight up? What if we do a straight up crescendo right away? I mean, no, the guy has 300 life. Ooh, but we got demon form right away. The only problem is we didn't get feel no pain out. Which would have been enough to save me all this life. Ah, if I got feeling a little pain now, I don't take any damage. I save my buffer for the bronze automated's big ol' attack. Unfortunately, that didn't come to be. Now I feel like I made a big error. Now I feel like I made a huge error. Ah, I discarded Perseverance. Fuck, I should probably use Science. Why did I discard Perseverance? What's up, buddy, huh? Crescendo. Uh, I think it's Crescendo, and I think we realize we're gonna. This is so risky. Energy is a big issue here. I do need to get talk to the hand on this guy. Optimal. That is interesting. So is impervious. Like impervious is very good, but Deus gives us energy, and we're kind of struggling with energy a little bit, a tiny bit, a tiny bit of energy problems. Also works with film of pain, energy and film of pain. 
And we also we have decent card draw as well. It's impervious. Okay. Bus philosopher stone time. Look for mind bloom. Are we mind blooming it up? Are we mind bloom gamers? I believe I am what you call a mind bloom gamer. It's a rare breed. This mind bloom gaming. A rare breed indeed. Percent of time. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Overclock his card draw. Do we care about burns? Absolutely yes. Oh look, a burn with your eye breathing. That's kind of cool. Like water has not paid off. It was the most speculative nonsense that did nothing for me. Let me all have an F in the chat for like water doing absolutely nothing. Why are blocks so nutty? Just a question. Just a small question. Red Beardy McGee, thank you for the raid, buddy. You've come at the right time. You're now witnessing. Premium. Absolutely premium. Prismatic shard. Now I think we could actually gain some stuff from reflex. It, you know, it's just fringe. That's more than fringe, I would say. It's more than fringe for sure. I we, we do suffer from energy though. Like, look, I mean, I am spoiled for choice. Like, I want to play demon form. I want to feel the pain. Like, what I don't give a damn about. But I'll play demon form. I mean, it makes the most sense. It absolutely makes the most sense. But the thing is, Phenol Pain needs to be played. I need more of at hand. Actually, this 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 all we're for Phenol for more of at hand at this point. We got the Phenol Pain. Let's get the move at hand. Also, you can look for talk to the hand first before you spend all your block. You know, you see that? You gotta talk to the hands right there. Matter of fact, you could have done crescendo as well. We'll pretend that none of those things existed, and then we'll we'll play the game now accordingly. Let's pretend that nothing happened there. Blade dance is, I just want another blade dance. That's really all I care about. There it is. All I want is more blade dances in my life. Also, I should probably use a potion before I run out of heavy blade. A heavy blade is a strength upping card. And it bears mentioning that I do gain strength with Shuriken and Demon Form. However, I have Crescendo. So, Crescendo is like heavy blade, but for everything. I don't know if I have the energy for Happy Blade, but it could be useful sometimes. Absolutely. do it. I'm going to take the idea, even though energy is crying out loud. Dark Embrace. Yeah, I like that one. Let's get these cards out. And let's crescendo right away. Absolutely. Let's crescendo right away. Oh my goodness.
Oh my. I have full block. Just remember to use a potion because if we use a potion. It doesn't matter because I don't, I don't get any healing from this. Oh my god, I can fatalize. I gained gold and a rare relic with Chevron's Ashes, which is AoE, which I was struggling with previously. And now Blade Dance is not only a stupidly broken card in every aspect of the game, but does AoE damage on top of that? Sounds good. Exhausting is interesting at times because... Exhausting gives you block. Maybe more block than perhaps Essence of Steel could provide. It's up in the air. Oh my god, we got defect cards. Where did this come in? Ah, double energy is actually pretty okay though. Remember, we have calipers, so there is a world where we can make calipers pop off. I should probably recall. Because I'm gonna go for three elites. What could go wrong? Oh my. I mean, the game is just, I need energy though, really bad. That's just beyond question. But a demon form can't get played, unfortunately. I suppose bash was necessary. Oh, okay. Ragnarok's pretty good. I mean, demon form is just kind of unnecessary at this point. What is demon form in the face of Crescendo? I gotta let my dogs out after this. Remember Crescendo, that thing I just talked about? Let's go there. Okay, but the problem with Crescendo is that I, um, I just realized that I, uh, That I took damage. Because I didn't kill that turn. But that should be fine. It's a small flesh wound. Echo form. That's a good one. See, that's a defect card I can get down. I can get behind. I might get rid of Heavy Blade here. I argue that Acrobatics is a little bit better. My bad, guys. Thank you for being patient. What are we doing here? Oh, I was thinking losing Heavy Blade. Sure. Uh, we can do a lot of elites, right? Sure. What can go wrong? Oh, I have to get rid of stuff. Uh, that sucks. Uh, this fight could be a little bit problematic sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, Whirlwind's pretty good. The thing is, I'm kind of curious in getting, um... Uh, kind of curious of doing bash, but I do have trip. What's up, ballet? Oh, yeah. If I do this exhaust thing, I could exhaust two cards. Oh shit. That's a lot of energy. Are we down to crescendo here? Yes, sir. Yes, I am.
I want to get Happy Flower going. Let's kind of get Happy Flower going here. Singing bowl. All right. So now what I need is Mind Bloom. Remember Mind Bloom being a thing that I could get? It'd be kind of cool. Because I didn't need the energy, I had full block anyway, so I didn't need the draw cards. Dark Shackles is pretty good. Actual Strategy is pretty good. Violence is decent. But it's also max HP. Like, Violence is not bad. Considering I have just limited attacks, like, it. Violence draws talk to the hand pretty often. Violence says, hey, you want to talk to the hand? Pretty often. We have, what, five attacks? I have a block though, Chrissy. I would have drawn a strike in the least. Hey, draw us to talk to the hand. Uh, I, I like it a little bit. Uh, max HP is I mean, I am kind of low on. Uh, Mind Bloom? Okay. Nani? I don't want to see what happens. Uh, that's funny. Wait, what about the second master strategy? We don't need that much card draw, though. Uh, we don't have that many attacks, actually. The deck doesn't do a lot of things most of the time. That's kind of interesting, right? Wait, by that logic, could you technically have 20 instance burners all staggered at different um, numbers? Wait, I'm kind of curious now. Hmm. Impatience is interesting. I feel like we have such little attacks that impatience is often just card draw. But, okay. Why do I want all this card draw? Um, I'll be honest, like... I'm not sure what to remove here. I, mean, I still want to remove strike. I feel like my deck is pretty bad, though. Like water is not paying off at all. I should probably is good as good as removal here. So like water was a speculative thing we took early on, and it has severely not paid off. It was speculative, very early speculation. Very early speculation. Remember that whole thing about me doing like crescendo early against this guy? Does anybody remember that conversation we had? That's what they all say, cannabis. Blame it on the Sneko look. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. My hand is too full. My spoon is too big. I don't even want to draw cards because like then I can't play yeah no snake of luck and backfire I mean I, I that is true oh double energy you would have been useful like a card before just a card earlier just one singular card oh my god we got double double trouble baby so who wants to do um Six plus seven is three. 
Like there's pain, the best kind of pain. Are you guys? Do you guys like the idea of uh, of double demon form? Or is like one just enough? You know. Chrissy doesn't know what leg day is because uh, she thinks working out is not necessary. Uh, so is this like a double double negative, double positive, double crescendo means you end up. So if you do, if you enter a raft back to back, do you somehow become calm? I'm not gonna find out. Just kidding, by the way. I know the answer to that question. Don't you dare answer it. Don't you dare even think about answering that question. I did. Oh, cool night again. Ooh, a beautiful max HP, if I had to say so myself. All right, so surely we're gonna get mind bloom, right? See, guys, one thing I don't mention or I don't advertise in the stream is I'm a prophet. I'm just a prophet um, in various aspects of my life. You know, I just predict a lot of things. Let's do this. You know what? I'm going to disrespect this guy. That's right. That's right. That's right. We'll chill, we'll chill, we'll chill, we'll chill. It's okay. We'll chill here. You ready? Man, I have too much damage. It's not even, it's like anticlimactic at that point. So I dare say Panic Button is pretty decent. Also, they're all green. That's a little bit weird. Panic Button would be decent if I took that Panacea on floor one. Also, I mean, do I need block like that? Our blocking is pretty decent. I would say our blocking excels. It excels until we use Impervious and there's a long fight and we're realizing we have a light water in the deck and then we only have defense and... So if, if Talk to the Hand is not on... So let's say Awaken 1 Phase 2 happens and Talk to the Hand is not there. Our block is actually pretty shitty. But Panic Button doesn't really save anything in Phase 2 at that point. I mean, okay. Okay, the the caveat is that... Wait, I have a question. I have a question. We have Calipers, yes. I also have a question. Can you gain block from Talk to the Hand with Panic Button? Because I don't play Watcher very often. You know, Watcher is like... So if you can gain block from Talk to the Hand through Panic Button, and you also get Film of Pain, I see a lot of less downsides. What would be a good upgrade? No, they don't make the block cards cost zero. They make you not gain block, but things like powers, like Final Pain, can still work, and Trench can still work. I'm curious about Talk to the Hand. Well, I would assume so that it would work. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, we'll upgrade Impervious here. Smith is your boy with the A. 19 much. 19 months. Welcome back, dude. 18 months drink. That's incredible. Is that a free demon form I see? Thank you so much, by the way, man. Welcome back. In the city. In the city of Compton. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. In the city. I kind of want to play talk to them. How likely is it that I can get talked to the hand and play? Okay, hear me out. We get Echo Form, we play Echo Form, then we double trip, then we double bash, and then we double talk to the hand. And at that point, the game's over. So, if we have Echo Form and play and we're doing double things, double talk to the hand's not that important. It bears, I suppose, noting that 
this is a fight we're talking about. Probably not getting played. But we'll try. Well, let's take a look. Gain X block. Chrissy. And then let's look at Pain of Pain. Gain X block. Chrissy, we just debunked you. No, no, we didn't debunk anybody. I, I take it back. Wait, uh, this is a good time to do Crescendo, right? The only problem doing Crescendo now is that I, uh... Well... It's fine, Echo Form. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> Demon Form, Echo Form. Pretty decent, huh? Now, here's the problem. Loki, Loki not being the Marvel super villain. Loki, I do want to do Snickle Oil, but eh, it's kind of a waste of a potion. Because I want to play tra Tools of the Trade, I want to play all these things. I could probably just bite the bully here, though. But Blade Dance is so good. I don't even need Demon Form, I don't think. I can play it later. Blade Dance is just too good. You know that feeling when Blade Dance is just too good? Because look at what you can get. You can get back into Demon Form. You can keep Panic Button in the deck. You can get back into Impervious to double it because Calipers exist. And you get the best of both worlds. You can get back into anything you want. Oh, now we have Calm Stance. Which kind of makes me want to go batshit crazy. Should I go batshit crazy? I mean, this fight is over. We've set up. This fight is over. The question is, do I want to end up in Wrath or end up in Calm? I might want to stay in Wrath here. I think I want to stay in Wrath. I don't think I know. I don't think I know. If it isn't, talk to the hand twice. Huh. Huh. I don't even need Demon Form. Demon Form is just... Demon Form is just a... Naturally, Demon Form is just a curse. I mean, who would have thunk it? The Demon Form curse strikes again. And look at the block. I mean, it's ridiculous. Calipers is screaming at me. Calipers is absolutely screaming. I could even get Happy Flower. To be perfect. And I will. But what I want to do first is rub it in. I want to rub it in. Because I'm sadistic. Now, this fight has some issues for us. There are some issues in this fight.
So the powers that I want to play are Echo Form, Feel No Pain. Echo Form, Feel No Pain. Demon Form, not as important, because I'm a ninja. Because I'm a ninja. And ninjas don't become demonic. It is the principle of the ninja. I studied at the dojo. I am struggling for energy here. What to do when you struggle for energy? Well, you realize that Valence is drawing exactly one card. Two cards. Which is useful. I suppose. I don't want to waste Impervious. But I do. I do, 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 do. Kind of. Want to get a shuriken proc and a kunai proc. So I could waste the buffer. Wasting the buffer feels mindless though. Like one thing I could do is draw into double energy doesn't even do anything. <laughs> I can't go. Uh, we don't have funeral evil. Okay, I want funeral evil in my deck. How do I make that a thing? I like how my dog chooses a small bet, by the way. Well, I'll follow where my dog is. Uh, yeah, we got a little small bed so that there's another bed in the other office for L. But now there's two beds in my office. Let's focus on the game here. I don't want to lose buffer, but I also want to get the shuriken kunai proc. We'll, we'll get shuriken kunai procs later. Let's not cry over spilled milk. Okay, I'm trying to cry over spilled milk here. I, I think... No, they can be in the same bed. We got a second bed for the L's office so that LB can be in there sometimes alone. I think Demon Form is worth it to play, but I, I actually disagree. I, you know, I'll use Snickle Oil here. I love that. You know, there's nothing I love more in life Is uh, double energy costing three? I think I, I think I derive. It's a special kind of pleasure I get when I see this. I could have demon form. Then I can do, uh, I can kill these guys with Blade Dance next turn. Any Oilers in the chat? I have an idea. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Any Oilers? Any Eulers? Oh, this is a good turn. This, I'm gonna get Fiddle Evil right here. Not for no evil. Oh, this is a good turn. This is one of them good turns. This is one of them good turns. Now I have a question, guys. Would you guys prefer me save Dark Shackles? For the post split, so that when the next phase it's zero strength, or would you want to use it now and get calipers? If I get calipers, that buys me time to do Kunai Shuriken, which survives the next split regardless. Catch 22 kind of thing. Tit for tat. Because calipers is useful. And boom. I'll take the calipers. Now we get the Kunai Shuriken stuff. If only I could Blade Dance twice. Technically, I can. But, talk about clogs. And now we see more Blade Dance in our life. Oh, I forgot that, you know, that card called uh, <laughs> the 
Snick that potion called Snickle Oil is pretty bad. Let's get this out of the deck once and for all. Okay. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. I wish play dance. You know what would be cool? Okay, this has never been talked about or even maybe conceived. Okay, maybe it has been conceived, but it just came to mind now. It called a hand buffer. A relic, a card, a something, a, a mechanic, a class, some kind of element that gives you a hand overload uh mechanic where you can increase your hand size for a small holdover of 12 to 13 instead of a normal 10 max size now imagine we call this guy the the hand wizard okay i'm gonna make a mod right now on the fly he manipulates his hand size like a warlock in hearthstone so hand size is important i guess there was a card gunslinger that does do hand size stuff but regardless what i want is like the ability to go to 13 cards and there's some kind of drawback to that and there's also some, some kind of interesting mechanic behind that. Um, regardless of that, let's just do this. Oh, hi, Mark. My buffer. You were supposed to protect the buffer. Not lose it. Supposed to bring balance to the force. Why are you attacking me so much? There's something I said. This Perseverance is a really bad card, by the way, at the moment. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna let Crescendo come to life in a second here. <laughs> when is that time? Soon. Soon. Now is the time. Only if it's lethal. And Echo Form Crescendo is quite awkward, I come, I come to find out. And you know, this Snake Oil has ruined me. I say ruined, I'm only lost 6 HP this fight. Do we even have lethal? Uh, math time. We do some stuff. We gain some. Okay, this is 48. 48. This is going to be 38, but this time it has vulnerable. So 57 times 2 is 114. 114 plus 48. It's 172. 172 plus. Plus, uh, 60. It's not quite lethal. It's not quite lethal.
but soon. Soon, Potter. Soon, Lethal is here. Well, that's just silly. Uh... Uh, Happy Flowers can be perfect, and now we have Lethal. Happy Flowers perfect. And we're full life. That was the second boss? Oh, well, we smoked the first boss. I was thinking, oh, I have another boss to go. I'm well equipped. I have Happy Flower. I have 87 life. Okay. On the plus, we're not frail. That's cool. We're not frail for the, the big stuff. Turn two and turn three. So what's a good upgrade here? I kind of want this to be more playable. Just like a small grievance of mine is the fact that this doesn't play very well often. But okay, what else can we do? I would say Perseverance has been staying in my hand pretty often. It can, you know, get one kunai worth of block every turn if I keep it in my hand. Something to consider. I feel like making double energy playable is useful because I, I wanted to have like some decent turns with master strategy and whatever. And then once I'm set up, I feel pretty well equipped to beat the heart. Imagine I'm more like echo form early and then I double touch in the hand. I mean, the heart is going to die quickly. It's going to die quickly. We have a lot of cards, so energy is pretty important. So what potion do we want or do we want to remove a card? Because I'm thinking liquid memories call it a day. Might even entertain the idea of weak pot for the heart as long as we have weak and guaranteed in the first two turns and we survive with fossilized helix and captain's wheel blocking me with no frail as well with impervious we should be able to actually destroy the heart here theoretically because we have a lot of tools to survive no frail helix captain's wheel and we actually don't have weaken in the deck do we one thing we forgot to get was a weekend. I wouldn't say forgot to get. I don't think I was offered it. Or maybe I was, but. Um, I'm okay with getting explosive pot, weak pot. Hey, dexterity pot's probably better. I'm gonna take dexterity pot. Eh. It's between dexterity and weekend. I think we can. I think we're really pretty well equipped to. to, to like I already said, we were pretty well equipped to the first two turns of the heart. I'm stuttering here. But we can make me even more well equipped. We can also change your direction in the necessity or the possibility that I needed for this fight right here. And a turn one deep. Can you save that luck for the, uh, you know, Mr. Heart? This is an insane turn one. Absolutely ridiculous. Hey, talk to the hand. How you doing? See, the awkward thing about prepared is the fact that you have to discard. <laughs> Why can't it just be overclocked with no downside? I can just be overclocked, no downset, huh? That would be cool. Um. I can also theoretically leak memories of Demon Form and then this fight would be over very quickly. Because I have Crescendo in hand. It's come to my attention that I was also received negative strength by the shield. It also comes to my question, my attention that I should have probably done double defend with echo form instead of this double crap that I just did. 
pero qué If I do the Commemoration and Blade Dance, I can save one frog for the buffer. I get 11 block. I, I lose 22 life. Look memories to save 11 life. It's pretty mild. But Lick Memories and Blade Dance also does Charon's Ashes. It also gives us an extra dexterity, extra strength. So it's not just 11 life. It's also one strength, one dexterity. But I also waste Lick Memories. <laughs> I'll do it. It also waste like the... Uh, I mean, I don't know. I feel like the is quite nice. And then... Whoa, boy. Double panic. Double trip. Double panic doesn't make sense. Double trip is decent. Double energy is decent. These are a lot of decent things here. Double trip accelerates my, my path to success here. If I had buffers though, I would I could gladly go into a crescendo here. I have the downside of having too many cards in hand. Final pain is here. Whoops, I should have done strike first. I kind of want to do panic button. And then, um, calipers this and kill this guy next turn. So I will. I want to do it, so I will. Happy Flower stacked. Is Happy Flower happy on to one or it wants to be two? And we can make it two, I suppose. A really a relatively low low cost for me. Let's make it two. I love this. Yes. Yes. I'm talking about. So we got Metallicize and Madness. Machine learning is not bad either. Do we find use out of any of these? What do we think? The feather is so I can use it as a quill in the heart's blood to make my signature at the end when I kill it. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do.
What you gotta see about Madness is that it potentially hits Demon Form or Echo Form. Or some other thing. For the interim. Not, not so I can get a zero-cost card in the future to draw, but just so I can have a, a clean turn to make, I can play my whole hand with Master Strategy aiding me. So Madness is an energy solution. With my card draw, which I currently have Swift Pot now. Metallic size is four block. But it pretty costly to play. That's one energy and one card and I don't know. I thought this is okay, but I think I, I I like madness, skip, or machine learning. I think the tier for me is madness, skip, machine learning. Metallic is for eleven armor calipers. Or you can play another card instead. I mean, yeah, if you get Metallicis out, it's not bad, right? Like, that concept is correct, 11 armor calipers. But getting it out is a problem. Or we if we have somehow have no block, we get 10 blocks, sure. Machine learning is okay. I mean, it's much more cards are on a world where I, I'm sort of struggling to play cards. But... Card draw is nice because it, in the very least it gives us Blade Dance. Blade Dance is our best card. So machine learning just for the fact that we want to get Blade Dance often. So we add that with Tools of the Trade plus machine learning and all of a sudden with Prepared and Acrobatics we're drawing machine uh, Blade Dance maybe every other turn or every three turns. So machine learning is pretty decent for that purpose. Madness is nice for energy stuff though. Let's finish in style here real quick. Machine learning also offsets the statuses. So who wants to do panic button with barricade right now? I'm a little sad I don't get echo form to talk to the hand. But I am happy. I am happy that I have talked to the hand with violence. Let me just clarify. Talk to the hand is guaranteed because of violence, which is great. Can I, can I just cry? Like, even though we're doing okay here, can I still cry about the fact that I lost a 50-50? No, you shouldn't cry, Jeremy. 50-50s are not always in your favor. Okay, if I have a weak pot, we're looking at how much damage here. Let's find Echo Form. Let's find Echo Form and let's find Echo Form. Now, I want to play Machine Learning, but I also want to play Blade Dance. But I should probably set up and play Machine Learning. There's more Blade Dance where that comes from. But Blade Dance is the dexterity and strength. See what I see about energy, right? Machine Learning would be great. But I want to play Blade Dance. Machine Learning is probably better though. Because then I can get into like everything past the statuses really quickly. And Blade Dance? Nah. Let's get Machine Learning out. 
Oh boy. You mean to tell me I could do double impervious? Or I could do double demon form? Oh my god. I'm spoiled. What do I choose? If I weaken double impervious, it's probably GG. On the other hand, if I do double demon form and weaken, I probably GG as well. <laughs> um, it's probably GG in any kind of capacity here. You know it'd be sick if I draw into double energy. I do double impervious or double demon form. I draw into double energy. Let's do this. Let's draw double energy, right? Whatever. I wanted to save Dark Cycles, but maybe I should have done Dark Cycles there. In hindsight. Eh, it's whatever. I wish- so weak pot was awkward timing. Weak pot was awkward timing because I basically wasted- um, well, actually it's okay timing because he gets artifacts, but I could- I could have weak pot this turn. So I lost a turn of weak- oh my god, is that double feel no pain? <laughs> Close your eyes, guys. This is gonna get disgusting. The weak pot affected me there. Alright, we're gonna draw blade ends again. I'm a prophet, I told you this. I lied. No, I didn't lie. I never lie. I think I've added burns to my deck, huh? And to really BM on this fire, I'm gonna double perseverance. Yeah, it's actually pitiful. 25 block. GG. Like water, it was speculative. Alright, I took it very early. It never paid off. Well, that was kind of cool. I got barricade. I was a little... I mean, I wanted to be a little bit more challenging, you know. I think it would have been a nice, interesting fight, but barricade kind of blew it open. It was a really good turn one. GG.